Here is the naturalistic argument against God. Put simply, it claims that everything that exists is natural. God is not natural, therefore God does not exist. Which is pretty much why I'm an atheist. The most common objection to this argument is that the first premise is taken on blind faith. Well, you have blind faith as well. You have a positive belief in naturalism. You say that um, nature is all that there is. And in order for you to say that, you would have to know everything. You don't know everything, therefore you only believe that nature is all that there is. So how are we to respond to this allegation? Well, we can start by pointing out that there is no possible situation wherein we have both better reason to accept than to reject a claim and a credible way of falsifying it, but wherein that claim is accepted on blind faith. The two conditions we need to meet then in order to refute the allegation of blind faith are firstly, a reason why naturalism is more likely to be true than false. Secondly, a means of falsifying naturalism. So how can we go about meeting these conditions? The argument that naturalism can meet the first condition goes as follows. It is equally possible that everything is natural and that there is something that is not natural. Thus, the prior rational probability, both of everything being natural and of something being unnatural, is 0.5, where 0 is certainly false and 1 is certainly true. The ontology of our best empirical theories is natural. The ontology of our best empirical theories cover a significant but unquantifiable subset of the total ontology. Thus, we have reason to take the probability of everything being natural to be significantly, but unquantifiably, greater than 0.5. Therefore, it is more likely than not that everything is natural. So, equipped with the first condition, we can now move on to the second. I submit that it is possible to satisfy the second condition by admitting that it is possible in principle for our best empirical theories to posit supernatural things. <clears throat> that is that it's possible for us to abandon naturalism on the basis of science, on the future extension of the self-same research methods that have so far served to establish the likelihood of naturalism. This provisional methodological naturalism is a plausible but highly controversial view. Controversial because it means abandoning the very popular position that science can tell us nothing either way about the existence of God. And in doing that, that runs contrary to the views of many people and institutions for whom I have a great deal of respect, such as Eugenie Scott at the National Centre for Science Education, Aaron Ra, Walwood Clare. The reasons for accepting it are, however, upon the kind of close critical scrutiny that my philosophical training gives to me, enough to recommend it. And if I follow that recommendation, I find myself with a possible but as yet unrealised means of falsifying the claim that nature is all that there is. In conclusion, then, I find myself both with reason to think naturalism more likely than not, and a reliable means of falsifying it. I am therefore adequately equipped to rebut the accusation of blind faith, as made by homeschooling nutters who are more than content to jeopardise their own children's prospects for the sake of some illusory sense of absolute certainty. Thank you for listening.